you feel, but it's it's really scary when you look at the the front pages today. I know it, it is really scary. We were just saying in the break. I think uh, politics feels more than ever incredibly real at the moment, right? Incredibly visceral. I think under Boris Johnson and the Party Gate sort of bonanza. Oh, don't mention that. Why politics? Bring that up? Well, <laughs> because it was depressing, but it yeah. d- it felt to some extent like a sort of farcical sideshow. Mm. It was depressing because of what they weren't doing, right? Because we we're facing these huge challenges and our politicians were all distracted with their own kind of corruption and cover-ups. But it didn't have a hugely meaningful impact, I think, beyond kind of an emotional one, I recognise, for lots of people in the public. Mm. Whereas this stuff feels genuinely really scary as we go into the winter. Mm -hmm. And for for a lot of people, I think, who often have felt quite insulated from Mm -hmm. economic ups Mm -hmm. and downs, there'll be a lot of people, I imagine, in your viewers, for whom this will be the first time in quite a long time that they feel very personally worried, as well as worried Mm -hmm. kind of at a societal level. So... We all started getting personally worried last Friday, Martin, Mm. Um, and I don't know if it's a battle between the Bank of England and government, but they don't seem to have joined up policy. No, so um, we're going to try to be not too depressing today. Maybe I should like get a trumpet or do do tell a few jokes. But anyway, let's start. Let's stick with the facts. (laughs) Let's start with the the truth. Let's start with the times. So the good news, the relative good news, is the terrible run on sterling steadied and momentarily rose yesterday away from historic lows against the US dollar. US dollar, by the way, is very strong globally. It's become a safe haven currency. Um, It has insularity due to its energy policy. There's a lesson, I think, in that for the UK. We need to become more energy self-sufficient. So the pound steadied. The bad news is it steadied because the Bank of England stepped in and said, yeah, we are going to increase interest rates. So on the one hand, that gives the currency markets more faith in sterling. Um, the difference between borrowing and government debt is, is, is steadied. However, it's going to be carnage for, for homeowners. I mean, they're only predicting 2.5% interest rates a few months ago. Yesterday, they're saying interest rates could go to 6%. I mean, just, yeah, that, just taking so that's that, the shocker. that in. Yeah, and Talking that about, means for people with mortgages, people not being able to pay their mortgages, people... Yeah you know, possibly having homes repossessed. So we're talking um, that kind of 1980s level. Interest rates were much higher in the 80s, went went to 14% at one point. However, because of cost of living and assimilated fact, Mm. is it going to be a similar kind of um, bleep show? So on the one hand, it's not quite as bad on sterling. On the other hand, that's because we're all going to be paying for it out of our interest rates, and particularly for homeowners. So, yeah, a gloomy outlook from the Times.